And this book is fun. And you know, sometimes when we grow things, we eat what's on the top of the dirt, like tomatoes. And sometimes when we grow carrots. things, where do carrots grow? Underground. So sometimes we eat the things that grow under the ground, don't we? We don't eat the top of the carrots. We eat the bottom of the carrots. But we don't eat the bottom of the tomato plant. We eat the top, the fruit, right? So this rabbit's real smart. He knows about all that. So let's see what happens. Do you like how this book opens? Like this instead of like this. Isn't that cool? It's called Tops and Bottoms by Janet Stevens. And here's the old bear. Let's see what happens. Once upon a time there lived a very lazy bear who had lots of money and lots of land. He had lots of money. He didn't need anybody to he didn't need to work, did he? His father had been a hard worker and a smart business bean. A smart business bear. And he had given all of his wealth to his son. But all Bear wanted to do was sleep. He was lazy. See? He got a whole bunch of money from his dad and he got a whole bunch of land from his dad and so he didn't have to work to get food, he just slept all the time. The Bible says we should not be lazy. Not far down the road lived a hare. What's a hare? Uh, it's a bunny. Yes, it's a bunny. Although hare was clever, what's clever mean? Uh, he, he, it means he doesn't be it, lazy. Right, and it means he's smart. Clever is smart. He sometimes got into trouble. He had once owned land too, but now he had nothing. He had lost a risky bet with a tortoise and had sold all of his land to Bear to pay off the debt. Hare and his family were in very bad shape. The children are so hungry, Father Hare. We must think of something, Mrs. Hare cried one day. So Hare and Mrs. Hare put their heads together and cooked up a plan. They needed food for their little bunnies and they didn't have any food. Then, the very next day, Hare hopped down the road to Bear's house. Bear, of course, was uh. sleeping. Hello, Bear, wake up! It's your neighbor, Hare, and I have an idea! Bear opened one eye and groaned. We can be business partners, Hare said. All we need is this field right here in front of your house. I'll do the hard work of planting and harvesting, and we can split the profit right down the middle. Yes, sir, Bear, we're in this together. I'll work and you sleep. Well, that sounds like a pretty good deal, doesn't it? Bear doesn't even have to do any work. Huh? said Bear. So what will it be, Bear? asked Hare. The top half or the bottom half? It's up to you, tops or bottoms. So he's telling the bear you can have the tops of the plants or you can have the bottoms of the plants. Because some plants grow underground and we eat that part, right? Huh? Well, let's see, Bear said with a yawn. I'll take the top half here. Right, tops. Hare smiled. It's a done deal, Bear. So Bear gets all the tops of the plants. That, there's a lot of tops. There is a lot of tops. Let's see what... There's more tops than bottoms. But remember, Hare is very clever. So let's see what Hare did. So Hare went... So Bear went back to sleep, and Hare and his family went to work. Hare planted, Mrs. Hare watered, and everyone weeded. Uh, sometimes there's plants that grow that we don't want. Those are called weeds, and we have to get them out, right? Bear slept as the crops grew. Look at him sleeping. Silly bear. When it was time for the harvest, Hare called out, Wake up, bear! You get the tops and I get the bottoms! Hare and his family dug up all the carrots, the radishes, and the beets. Hare plucked off all the tops tossed them into a pile for Bear, and put the bottoms aside for himself. For all his family, too. Yeah, but what did Bear end up getting? The tops. The tops. Do we eat the tops of the beets? 
No. Do we eat the tops of the carrots? Yes. Actually, we don't. This is the bottom right here. And so let's see what happened. Bear stared at his pile. But Hare, all the best parts are in your half. You chose the tops, Bear, Hare said. Now, Hare, you've tricked me. You plant this field again, and this time I want the bottoms. Hare agreed. It's a done deal, Bear. So but the Hare got all the bottoms, and the Bear got all the tops, which is mostly garbage. So now... Bear says, I want the bottoms because you got the better deal. You tricked me, so I want the bottoms now. Did he trick him? No, he didn't. Yeah, he did trick him because when, when Bear said he wanted the tops, then what did Rabbit plant? He planted all things that have bottoms that we eat. The beets grow under the ground. The carrots grow under the ground. The radishes grow under the ground. He could have put potatoes in. They grow under the ground. And that's the stuff we eat. And the stuff on the top we throw away. Find out what happens. So Bear went back to sleep, of course. And Hare and his family went to work. They planted, watered, and these. weeded. What do you think is going to happen, Natalie? Well, they are going to get the good stuff. He's going to get the bad stuff. Yeah. Because he asked for bottoms, and they're going to plant things that grow on the top. Ah, let's see if you're right. That's a good prediction. Bear slept as the crops grew. When it was time for the harvest, Hare called out, Wake up, Bear! You get the bottoms and I get the tops! See, I told you. Oh, you are a good predictor. Hare and his family gathered up the lettuce, the broccoli, and the celery. Hare pulled off the bottoms for Bear and put the Pops in his own pile. So here, to, what does Bear get? He gets all the roots and the yucky stuff that we usually throw away. And Hare gets the lettuce, all the good stuff, the broccoli. Noah, you love broccoli. He gets all that stuff. What do you think Bear's going to say this time? Uh, I Pops. get nothing. I give up. I give up. Let's see what he says. Bear looked at his pile and scowled. Have you been cheating me again? But Bear, Hare said, you wanted the bottoms this time. Bear growled. You plant this field again, Hare. You've tricked me two times, and you owe me one season of both the tops and the bottoms. You're right, poor old Bear, sighed Hare. It's only fair that you get both the tops and the bottoms this time. It's a done deal, Bear. So Bear's caught on. He wasn't smart at the beginning, but he's learning, isn't he? So now how is how is Hare going to give him the tops and the bottoms and come up with anything for himself? What's going to happen now? I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out, okay? So Bear went back to sleep, sleep and Hare and his family went to work. They planted, watered, and weeded. Then water and weed it some more. I want to make sure it was a really good crop. I wonder what it's going to be. Let's find out. Bear slept as the crops grew. When it was time for the harvest, Hare called, uh, he called out, Wake up, Bear! This time you get the tops and the bottoms! Oh, Bear's going to be excited, isn't he? What's Rabbit going to get? What's Hare going to get? Probably nothing. Let's see. There in front of Bear's house lay a high field of corn. Hare and his family yanked up every corn stalk. Hare tugged off the roots at the bottom and the tassels at the top and put them in a pile for Bear. Then he carefully collected the ears of corn in the middle and placed them in his own pile. See, Bear? You get the tops and the bottoms. I get the middle. Yes, sir, Bear, it's a done deal. What did he do? What did Hare do that time? 
What do you want? He gave the he gave the bear just what he wanted. He took the tops off, those little silky things that grow on the top. He took the roots off on the bottom, and hair kept the middle where the good yellow corn is. We should have had some of that corn today. By now, Bear was wide awake. That's it, Hare, he hollered. From now on, I'll plant my own crops and take the tops, the bottoms, and the middles. Hare and his family scooped up the corn and hopped down the road toward home. Bear never again slept through a season of planting and harvesting. Hare bought back his land with the profit from the crops, and he and Mrs. Hare opened a vegetable stand. And although Hare and Bear learned to live happily as neighbors, they never became business partners again.